even once you get the system running, still things change and tweak. And when you have different people that are helping in your staff, you always have to be having someone who looks over it. And even yourself still from time to time, you want to check in and see how it's going on and spot check it. Welcome back, everybody. We've got Jesse Zagorski. He's a great friend of mine. Every time I, I talk to Jesse, he leaves me with a smile and, and some great information. And today is no different. So Jesse, we're going to talk about social media for those people that don't know you. Where are you located and what do you do in real estate? Yeah, I love that you're already smiling. We're less than 30 seconds in. You said, look, he's already smiling. Dude. So, all right, cool. Um, I'm in San Diego, California, and I've been a real estate broker. I'm now a broker associate with EXP, but I've been a broker, ran my brokerage for 14 years, been in the industry for 18 years. I've run sales teams as big as 21 agents. I have, um, I've been a listing agent, a buyer's agent. I've cleaned toilets, answered phones, you name it. I've done it. I've done it. Sometimes toilets need to be cleaned. So you clean them, right? I like that. Well, dude, I've cleaned them. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And, and then these days I also, I do a lot of uh, social media. I do a lot of like real estate training as well. I run an, a large organization. Um, so, so I'm able to do a lot of training for them and uh, the social media piece we're tying into it. You know, I know you and I were talking offline and we're like, if you're going to do all these things, you got to employ some leverage. And yeah, dude, that's the name I of this. Think. That's the name of this, this show is leverage. And that's, I'm obsessed with leverage. My entire career, I've been obsessed with it. You know, this is episode 73. I just checked. That's crazy, dude. It is crazy. I didn't know you'd done 73 of these. I didn't either until I checked. <laughs> I was like, whoa, we're done, we're done 73. That's quite a yeah. lot, man. That's I, got, I got a lot. And... I got a lot of listening to go back and catch up on. <laughs> well, whenever you're traveling, man. Yeah. But let's talk about leverage. Let's do it. All right. What does what does leverage look like in your world right now? So two ways to frame up leverage in the context of social media. And I know you've discussed this in here, but in case people haven't seen other ones, um, you can leverage both the content itself through repurposing content in multiple ways. And if you're going to repurpose content, like you make, when I say repurpose, you create one piece of content and then you reuse it in various forms in different ways. In order to do that, I need to have a team behind me and I leverage virtual assistants to create the different formats I need to repurpose that content. All right. I like that. And are you only using, well, what's your staff look like overall? Because I have a combination of VAs and local staff and even my VAs, some of them are in the United States, right? I just, they're just called virtual, right? It's the same right. thing. Yeah. But how, what, what is your, what is your staff look like overall? So I have a similar structure, probably less, probably less people than, than you have, because you have a little bigger, uh, bigger reach of what you're, what you're working on. But I have domestic staff, right? That some of them are kind of, one of them has been with me for five years. She is our director of operations for our sales team, as well as she also works on the, uh, like kind of overseeing the, some of the virtual staff. And then I've got another person uh, here in the States that I have, um, my creative team is all out of the Philippines. So I found one uh, video editor first and that person mm -hmm. then brought a, a, another video editor. And then we have someone who just does the social media posting. So okay. I have two video editors plus a, plus a, uh, and then a, plus a um, person who does the posting, right? Kind mm -hmm. of different social platforms, handles the podcast, keeps our website updated. We have our own website that hosts the podcast, that hosts our, our media also. What's then, the website? Uh, uh, Theagentcollective.com. That's the, the one I want to. That's what I want to show you. I want to give you the walk through the, uh, the the member section of that. You want to? Um, well, I, I guess I can share it right on the back end. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. hold on. That way we can take a look at what you did. And then we can go through and you can tell me all about it. Yeah. All right. This is the agent. Oh, I love the logo, dude. Look at that. Yeah. Where'd you get that done? Was that uh, in house Fiverr? No, so, so that was our our web designer. Uh, was also a graphic artist did that one. And then I do, but I do have another uh, part-time in-house graphic artist who does like a lot of these covers and all these podcast art there is done, done by him. Dude, I, I know, and now I'm remembering that you told me this, but now that I'm looking at this, this looks like Netflix. Yeah. That was Dude. the whole idea is 
we're, we're building a Netflix for real estate. This training. looks, this looks exact. I'm going to go to Netflix. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go Netflix. I think I might have to log. On. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a login. I don't even remember my login. So, all right, dude, this looks like, this is insane. This is real. What a great idea. And now I remember us talking about this. So tell me who, who makes sure that your website is being updated on a daily basis. So I have a guy named Gian who is out of the Philippines. He's our virtual assistant who is in charge of the website. So he does updates the website as well as social media posting. And then he reports to, there's a, a stateside based person who's our, I call her our chief of staff. Her name is Lisa. And so Gian's actually writing the copy, writing descriptions, but Lisa's helping to proofread it and check it. Whether you have someone domestic or stateside, I always think it's good to have two eyes on anything that you have you know, written anyway, just to have someone read yeah, it over. I but agree. Gian's with you. mainly in charge of this. All right. Are you going to retarget me now that I visited your site? Hopefully if we, if our campaigns are set up correctly. <laughs> All right. All right. And then <laughs> what about Instagram? Where do I go? Is it the same thing? Agent, agent collective, or do I click on one of these? That yeah. Takes me in, there, in, no? Instagram under the agent collective. We, we actually, it's funny with Instagram. We, we don't really, if you click on the little, there you go, click there. We, we've only more recently started playing with Instagram. So mm -hmm. we're still, working on the format. We really spent most of our time inside Facebook groups to start with. We oh. were really looking for a small, we, we'd, we were really looking for not a large audience, but we're looking for a smaller. Um, Is this it right for, here? That's the, that's the, that's the page. But then there's that's a group the also. The agent collective group. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to just have to type it. the agent collective. collective. And actually the group actually look for a agent power huddle for the group. That's agent, the group that we put more agent, agent power. power there we go. That group. Right. You're part of that one. I am. I am. I like it. And they just changed the way groups looked last week. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, let me go to the perfect events. All right. I was waiting for all this stuff to pop up on the left. I go, Oh yeah, that's right. I'm not an admin in this group. <laughs> it's like, I was like, what happened? I'm missing stuff. I know it's strange for you to be inside a group that you're not an admin on. Dude, I know it's so weird. All right. So tell me about, the process here and who's posting and who's making sure that all of the posts that somebody else posts have comments and likes and engagement. Tell me all about this. Okay. So, so this is, um, again, it is Gian who is posting and Lisa, okay. who is kind of looking over it to make sure it looks right. Gian who's responsible. So I'm in there too. Sometimes we have a couple other people on our team that jump in, but uh, Gian is responding to comments and we're tagging people and dragging them in and getting them involved. And um, if, I mean, I would say one of the most challenging things when you're building anything is getting that sort of engagement. Do you agree, Tristan? Oh, a hundred percent, dude. Like building the mechanics of getting someone to post stuff and making content, that part gets pretty easy after a while. It's getting the engagement. That's really the more challenging piece. Um, if you click back over to the website for a minute, all right, which I love. Thank By you. the way, you and I talked about this, what, two years ago? Yeah, we had, had the idea and then it went live about, got been about a year at this point. So That's sometime so I'll, I'll take you uh, on a little backstage tour. I'll show you because I'd love to see some ideas you have on other ways to leverage this. But this is for, like, I, we, we have an organization of about 1,100 agents. And so this is, there's a lot of pu public facing content on here. But then on the members side, there's some courses that are just, that are just for the people in our group. They have other things. So this site is really where we spent a lot of time kind of optimizing and putting in content here. If you scroll down a little further, this uh, agent power huddle, like this is our live training. So this is where I have the, the virtual team. Um, they're creating, we have Gian who is updating the site. We have Rens, who's our graphic artist, creating the promo images. We have our video editor, Brent, who's taking the lot right there, what you have on the screen, agent power huddle. That's a yeah. 30 minute pod live podcast kind of like what we're doing now but we do it every day and so mm -hmm. if you click on see all trainings let's see what it shows you if you're not logged in uh let's take a look at this it should show you the last two weeks there you go so you get the last two weeks of episodes and then click on any one of those episodes Just all right any, let's take a look at this one okay so there's okay. jess an episode i did with her yesterday so this is a 29 minute episode that mm -hmm. gian updates here and then we pull clips out of this we pull one and three minute clips, depending on where we're putting them. We pull stock st images that we then reuse on. You put them on here? Yeah, they, they go here. Got it. This is nice. All right, so take me through the process now. Okay. Do you have your team 
real estate team or those that are part of your organization under exp do you have them go here and kind of log in and learn everything is this Correct. is that why you created this yep it's just a it's just a like a like a holding tank again like a like a netflix for real estate training and so yeah. we've been doing this content for so long just like you have that there was no there was no good way to to sort through all of this content and so we had to start indexing it and categorizing it so you can sort by keyword and you can now go back and find anything on any topic you're, you're looking for. Who made, uh, who made the website for you? Uh, that, that was actually someone you know. That, that was uh, uh, Ariel, the web designer that, that I think you talked to her, worked on a project with her at one point. Did I? I think but I might I, have, maybe. I don't know. Was that but through I, But James I did Long? leverage, I did leverage no. there as well. We have a web designer who made the layout and then we used an, uh, a Brazilian-based, uh, or sorry, Argentinian-based uh, you know, web developer who actually coded it and put it together and built it. I like this, dude. So every single episode, so then is ripped into audio as well. Do you have your VA team? Yep. So 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 walking through the, so walking through the format. Let's just take Agent Power Huddle for example. It's a great great kind of flow to walk people through the system because okay. this is where I mean it's hands off for me. If you're talking about leverage, it is totally like the team knows what to do. It's hands off. I I show up. I'll record a podcast on some days. I'm not even on it because we have other, other hosts that are hosting it. The raw file goes to zoom. As soon as it's done in zoom, our, uh, one of our VAs goes and takes the file and imports it for editing. He'll add on the intro and the outro and makes like a 30 minute video clip. That 30 minute clip yeah. takes the audio out. We use Spreaker. I don't know if you guys ever use Spreaker. 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 What is that? It's Spreaker, it's like Speaker, but with an R in there. Spreaker, Spreaker mm -hmm. hosts our podcast, so you basically upload it to Spreaker, and then if you scroll oh, down on the left, you I can see it. Spreaker. It's, yep, yep. yep. There's a bunch of other sort sites you can do like it, but it syndicates to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Um, you do have to upload directly to YouTube as well. But Let me um, take a look at this really quick. Yeah, don't don't judge our YouTube. We don't drive much traffic at all to YouTube. That's okay. We're, it's okay. We're, I'm not judging you. You can I'm judge me. I'll take. You. I'll Wait, I'm I'll not judging help on you YouTube, man. externally. I'm just judging you internally, Jesse. You can judge me externally. So, so the, funny <laughs> thing is, the, the, funny, the funny thing is I'm actually doing a trade with someone who's a YouTube expert that I'm going to go help out at their event. They're going to help us optimize and figure out what's going on with our YouTube channel. Because we Dude, put a I ton can, of content, but that we haven't driven any traffic to I can it. help you. That's okay. Yeah, you don't, right. I can, let me just check something really quick. I'll tell you really quick. I'm taking a look at this description. All right, I can already tell you just from here. Um, a few things. So I'm going to go to well, mine. Well, tell us because it's going to help the audience too. I'll tell you really quick. I'm going to go yeah. to this one right now. Uh, and I'll show you. Nope, not that one. Usually it takes them a few days to edit because I want you to see what happens. I think this one might be one. Let me make sure. Perfect. All right. So once the video is up, uh, number one thing you want to do is focus on thumbnails because that's the way it Netflix think of Netflix they're changing the thumbnails when you pop in and I pop in they're different thumbnails for both of us right yep. the next thing we're looking at is title it has to be important it has to be think of what people are typing in as far as trends for who you want to target on Google and then you see these little hashtags at the top mm -hmm. they pop in from the bottom so you have to have those at the end. And the most important piece, this description, along with the timestamp, time because each one of these timestamps becomes a Google search. Check it out right here. They All of these just became Google searches. And that's super key right there. And what you want to do is you have a you have a really good audience. So what you want to do as soon as one of these is up, you know you want to grab it and then share it to your audience so that you can just drive all the traffic to YouTube. Yep. And and then on the back end of this, you see the tags that we've added as well. Yep. You want to be able to add some of these tags. Although, um, sorry, YouTube, YouTube says that they don't matter as much. Uh, they do. They matter. They matter more than they say it does. We've seen it. So that's just really quick on, on what I can share with you, but you can even see here as you scroll through the chapters, they have, they have a little breaks right in between already. Yep. Well, well that's, if, if I can be vulnerable, which is always fun to be vulnerable on, on, on live or on a live webinar. Um, I actually thought we were doing the chapters 
and I and I knew we were oh, at one point. So yeah. I just looked. So this is part of by by the way, anyone listening, this is part of your your learning. Something that you think is working, and then I haven't double checked it in in a month, right? And so somewhere there was a breakdown between our person updating YouTube and the person who's su supervi uh, supervising it, and I don't know what changed, but I got to go figure out what where those went. Well, dude. You, what you're doing is absolutely insanely amazing look at this this is crazy <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not i appreciate that dude i'm not feeling bad anymore i more just want to share like even once you get the system running still things change and tweak and when you have different people that are helping in your staff you always have to be having someone who looks over it and even yourself still from time to time you want to check in and see what, how it's going on and spot check it yeah all right so now tell me besides youtube you guys are ripping the audio putting it on spotify Yep. Um, you guys are going through Spreaker, right? Yep. Let me check. Are you guys? Oh, this is dude, this is nice. So you have all of the description here. I like it. And I'm just gonna go to Google really quick here, since I couldn't log into Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Let's just type it. Is it Agent Power Huddle? Yeah. I want to see what pops up when that happens. What's the very first thing? I thought so. I knew it was a podcast. It's yeah. your agent power huddle Apple podcast. That's how much SEO that ranks. I love it. And yep. check out what number two is, man. Facebook. Yep. And if you but look, then, if you if you look at our stats in Spreaker, seventy four percent of our downloads come from Apple Podcasts. Only eleven percent come from Spotify. Always, always. Isn't that nuts? Yep. Oh, and look at this, dude. Podcasts. I love. Look at this Spreaker right here. How does it look on Spreaker? Just so I can see. Oh, I don't think Spreaker nice. drives any traffic to it there. No, but it does such a good job on placing it yeah. everywhere else because people are wondering oh, yeah. where does it go? Look, here yep. you go. Yeah. This is so nice, man. Do you I mean, guys, when you rip the audio, do you guys edit uh, the middle part or do you just put on the intro, put out the outro? Put on the intro, put on the outro. We don't edit the middle. Um, we're leaving it all together. We're actually starting to run ads in our own, um, in, like for our for other shows and other stuff inside our own media. I mean, we get, and this is, by the way, for any agents listening, regardless of the size of your listenership, it's almost about just having this podcast positions you as an expert and yeah. you can show to your clients, like it's so easy these days to create a podcast, but it it makes you, it just stands you apart. I mean, we, and our, our audience, we're, we are focused on growing it. That is important to us, but it doesn't matter to me how large our audience is. I'd rather have a highly engaged audience that actually That's listens cute. to episodes on a regular basis. We get comments, we get messages. That to me matters more than the, the raw size of the audience. Dude, hundred percent. It's all about the engagement, right? Yeah. Think about, I think people, people often forget how it looks to have a hundred people in a room, Right. That is a lot of people that are paying attention to you if you have them in a room. And, and we often forget that that, that is powerful because a hundred people you're connecting with on social or that are continually going to the podcast or wherever they're going to, they're going to be telling other people, right? And sometimes we're worried about, well, I only have, I only have 300 followers on, on Instagram. It's like, right. yeah, but, but are they engaged? That's yeah. all that matters. Yeah. And, and you could do all of this. I mean, you could really do it with one person. I, I find that there is typically different skill sets between someone who's going to be your video editor and who wants to post this on websites. So having two different part-time people that might be better than having one full-time, depending on the volume of content you're creating. Um, we have other shows and we edit stuff for some of our the agents in our group, which is why we have two full-time editors at this point. But um, it's just it makes it so easy when you, you, the file can rip the audio out. It, you can create so much other content from a single piece that you, the person of the content creator, it took you 30 minutes to do the actual recording. Maybe it took you 15 to prep, right? Maybe depending on if you're getting, you know, if you've done a lot of content creation, there, you don't need to do much prep time. You just jump on with someone who's interesting and ask them questions and start talking. Sometimes you do more prep. Dude, yes, yes. Great point, great point. I think we over we overthink we overthink it and we think we can do everything because I, I think a lot of us don't come from a don't come from a business world. You you came from MTV, so you're different. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of us don't come from a business world, so we're not used to delegating. We're like, 
Right. We don't have to do it all, right? That's a great question. Great question for you. I don't know if you can answer this. Okay. Hey guys, great talk. I'm listening to Joe Rogan, uh, his podcast on Spotify, and I can see that he's also adding the actual video aside from the audio. Would love to hear your thought about it and if that's a great idea or a good idea. So I thought people were going to watch the video and they don't on podcast. People still primarily, I don't know if you find the same thing, Tristan, but they're mainly on podcast platforms listening to audio only because that's where they're going for. And the video, I mean, I would imagine be more viewers go to YouTube for, for that. Is that what you find also, Tristan? Yeah, that's very true. And that's why, I mean, if you listen to the podcast from Joe Rogan and Mr. Beast, uh, they talk about that. And he says, this is why Joe Rogan still does the clips, the smaller clips of the video on YouTube. Yeah. Right. Because he knows that that still drives more traffic. So although I don't think it takes away from, from any traffic going to Spotify uh, yeah. when you, when you add the video, I think if you can do it, I think the way that we ran it, we had to run it through anchor to be able to run the video through because anchor is owned by Spotify. Uh, that's how we did it. I don't know any other way of doing it. So I, I know Monch is in the background. Monch, if you want to type in that answer in the chat, uh, besides that, I don't know another answer. Jesse? No, I, I was just going to say, but my, my tip would be if you're going to do, and if you're focused on the podcast and you want audio, I would still throw a camera on. If you're interviewing someone in person, just throw a camera out. Or if it's over Zoom, you're going to use the video anyway, because the video, like you just said, Joe Rogan does for clips, the video works better in clips, right? You might have the long form audio that someone's listening to on a podcast platform, but then you can turn that short video into clips, uh, you know, for reels or, or, any, or any other platform we're using little, you know, one minute video clips out of it. That, oh, that's true. That, that was the part I was going to say on content creation for this leverage. You want to train your editors, your staff, whoever it is. So we have Gian who, who watches the podcast live as he is watching live. He is taking notes on time codes to see, Oh, that was a really cool quote. Cause we go back and forth and over the months of him working with us, mm. he now knows what to look for because we, like I used to have to tell, tell him like, okay, this is a good clip at, you know, two minutes and 37 seconds, cut out this and that until he started to understand, Oh, I know what makes a good clip. This is cool. And we can, we can cut in. He understands the style that, um, that our editors use taking some B-roll, some other video to put together. So it's not just us, it's it's us plus some B-roll footage. Kind of like makes it fun and light, but they can, the, the VAs can do this totally independently without me giving any creative direction to it at this point. And that's really important, I think, to be able to, you just you just make content, all 30 minutes isn't gonna be good. Like we've been talking for a while, Tristan. So true. The whole thing wasn't good, maybe it was, I don't know, but like, but there's at, at least, least one or two minutes that were probably great. <laughs> I think the whole thing was great. All right, fine. Well, this might've been great because, because like you just got that presence about you, but you don't have to worry about the whole thing being great because of the way the world we live in, you want to look for the one or two good minutes that you can pull out of the longer 30 minutes anyway. Dude, that's so true. I think what we're testing out on that, by the way, if, if we take out, let's say, let's say about a minute to a minute and a half of, of something we put together here, we upload it. And then we have somebody else. Let's say we ask you to upload it. Then we would go on our, we would go on our account on TikTok. And then I would duet that and be like, right. So now I'm duetting a conversation with you that we had, but you're the one talking and we're focusing on you. And, and that's worked, that's worked pretty well. So I love that idea. Yeah, dude. So you're doing some amazing stuff. I'm really impressed with the agent collective website. I'm, I'm just, just one, one more time. I'm going to show it to everybody. Just yeah, because it's sexy. I, I, thank you. I'm proud of it too. So it's a, uh... this is really good. This is really good. Um, and you showcase, what's the idea of showcasing, showcasing these four at the top? Are these the just so we can change episode? it out over time. We can rotate through and show different shows as we kind of, cause, cause this is the idea was to, to continue to feature content creators. So not to have to create all the content ourselves, but to continue to meet and, partner with other content creators and feature their content also. So we can promote any different person that we want to up there, any, any different, either specific episode or a specific show we can feature up there. And what is an emotional gymnastics? This is what we used to do it in, uh, in LCA. We stopped recording. Which I so loved, by the way, why did we yeah. stop it? 
I don't, we, we just we kind of ran out of steam. We could bring it back. This was a emotional gymnastics for real estate agents was that show we did in, in, in lab code agents. Just Everybody that a, needs this right now, man. People are freaking out in the industry. <laughs> this is Let's so bring good. It back. We had some ideas to, to, to bring it back. I can talk to, uh, I'm going to, I'll tell Sandra and, and I'll text you in it right now. Yeah. All right, cool. I love that. Well, Jesse, how do we reach you? It feels like it, we can go anywhere and reach you. Yeah, but how do we you, reach you? <laughs> I, I would say for people listening, the easiest way is probably shoot me a DM on, on Facebook or Instagram, right? That you can, and you can always email me, me at the agent collective.com, just Emmy at the agent collective. But if they want to reach me, you know, DMs on Facebook or Instagram, Jesse Zagorski. All right. I have a question. How have you been chilling out lately? Oh, uh, I went up to the mountains last weekend and left my cell phone at home because there was no service there anyway. And that was a good way to chill out. That's so a good, good. good way. To, that's a, right? You double did it. You're like, I, I don't have it. I'm just gonna just dump I my phone. It. I double did it. That that was a that was my that was my way to chill out. What Dude, I don't you? know if I have the courage to do that. It was two days. I was like a day and a half. Two it days was... without your phone. <laughs> it felt so good. Okay. Did I just, I did I scare you. the heck out of you? I'm not going to test that. I'm not going to test that out, but I believe you. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love it. Uh, I love it, dude. I always like talking to you. See, I always learn something. Now I'm inspired by your web. By the way, my team is texting me and they're like, did you see his website? I'm like, damn it. I, yes. I've, I've got, I own the code. We can talk about it, dude, and come up with some other dude, ideas for it. I'm digging it. Thanks, yeah. bro. I appreciate you. And yeah. thanks for showing us what's possible too on the back end. Absolutely. Good to see you, Tristan. Good to chat. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Jesse. Bye, guys.